Welcome back to Central Valley Talk. I'm Mike Briggs, where we meet here every day and talk about what's going on. We celebrate what's good about the entire valley. Fresno, Clovis, Madera, even Hanford, for goodness sakes. Our guests today are from the uh, UCP. And uh, let me see if I get them up on our screen. There they are. Welcome. And it's, uh, by the way, it's uh, Debbie and... Barbie. Barbie and Debbie. Yes. What's UCP? UCP... Um, stands for United Cerebral Palsy of Central California is our is our uh, affiliate and it really is more than just its name you know CP set is cerebral palsy but we serve all disabilities and in our children's program we serve not only disabilities birth to three but we also if the child has a developmental delay and just might need a kickstart a little kickstart okay mm -hmm. so it's just yeah. not just cerebral palsy but all kinds of all, things all delays all disabilities mm -hmm. i always think about it, it's just for children but it's children and adults adults our mm -hmm. our adult program is here in fresno. in fresno they also have one in kalinga and they also have a retirement adult program it's mm -hmm. called the nest which as as we all age we don't necessarily want to work anymore yeah. so they have a retirement program for those nice. folks. Now, but you do have special children's programs. Yes. In, in Kings County, we have a variety of programs that we really look at as a wraparound approach for families. We have our early intervention that is really serving families and the children birth to three who have special needs and disabilities yeah. and delays. But we also have community programs throughout Kings County in Corcoran, Lemoore, Avenel, Kettleman, and Hanford. Wow. And those are funded through First Five, and they serve all children, no matter they're typical or not, um, but mostly typical. It's a community program, okay. and they serve children birth to five. Yeah, I didn't realize you guys were that far reaching. And that, uh, thank goodness you have the resources to do that. We are very fortunate that we do have um, funders that, that have share the same mission we do. Yeah. And so what's really nice about the the early start and the community programs is that children who have delays who might be going to get a diagnosis are able to be included in, with typical kids in our play programs in there. Your play programs, yeah. Yes. Now you have a special event coming up. Yes. What is that? Um, every year we do a trunk or treat mm -hmm. and in the last three or four years we've we've made it um, available to the, and opened it to the general public. So is this Hanford? This is located in Hanford, yeah. and it's at the Civic Center Park, downtown Hanford, on Sunday, October 15th from 11 to 3. Now, somebody said it's a safe uh, trick or trunk or treat, safe place. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to have anything really, really scary. <laughs> well, it's just these days and age, you don't want to take your kids out to anonymous doors to knock on the door and get Absolutely. candy. Absolutely. You look for a safe place. And here's a safe place, and it's in Hanford. What's the backpack for? This is our fancy swag bag. Swag bag. Okay. So what we're doing is we are, uh, we have 50 of these. Um, we're going to have resources around, and we're going to be passing out a passport. And when those items are full, we are going to be giving this away. Um, and we're looking for community partners to stuff these swag okay. bags. So, we'll Is it at the trunk or treat they get the passport? Yes. And if you get enough of them, you can trade them in for the swag bag. Yes. Absolutely. So we're looking, we're looking for people to stuff these bags with um, toys, um, toothbrushes, and school bubbles. School supplies. School supplies. Yep. They've already got some in there. So, so for the public, we don't want to give empty swag bags. No. Nope. Right. We want to give nice full swag bags and, yes. uh, for the kids there. Now, um, when and where is the trunk or treat? It's at the Hanford Civic Park on Sunday, October 15th from 11 to 3. Okay, now is that by the courthouse? Yes. The Civic Park? It's down by the Civic Center and the courthouse, yes. Okay, okay. so anybody from Hanford, from Kings County, they know where that is. Additionally, they also have a, a um, uh, carousel, and so they are... The city of Hanford is donating two hours for the carousel and their very famous uh, fire truck ride. That's nice. And people don't realize that it, it costs Hanford a lot to keep that carousel up and going. And that's nice that they're donating that yes. time. Yeah. Exactly. What else do you want our viewers to know about your programs or about the trunk or treat? You know, I think the thing that I would like our viewers to know is that we are there for the families. 
we understand, Barbie and I both are parents who went through the program, and our kids turned three and graduated, but we kind of stuck around. Mm -hmm. And so we, we, I always say, I've been there, done that, bought the t-shirt. We know how it feels. We may not be in the same boat they are in, but we're definitely in the same lake. And we just want people to know that we're there for them and we're available. And, and our program is far reaching. Who, um, who should be contacting you? Who, who needs your services? Any child birth to three in Kings County, and if you feel like your child might be able to delay it a little bit, don't hesitate to give us a call. 559-584-1551 mm -hmm. is our number, and we are happy to screen. We are happy to make the referrals necessary. But if you've got a child in Kings County, give us a call. We'll right. figure out where, what services can, and that's what Barbie's specialty is, is helping families to navigate for services. Yeah, and, and if you've never done that before, it's, it's insurmountable sometimes, there it seems is, like, but Barbie's done it a few times. <laughs> With a 25-year-old, yes, she's done it a few times. Right. Okay. Um, the booths, the partners, what do you need? We actually counted the number of trunks we have, and mm. we have 34 trunks right now. Mm. We're also offering uh, space for resource partners. Mm. So if you want to come out and share the services that you do, um, we're happy to have you join us. Mm -hmm. Who might do that, or who do you have lined up so far? Well, for instance, um, S Central Valley Regional Center is providing a booth. Um, who else is providing a booth? Dental, Dentists of Hampered, nice. um, and we are going to have DDS um, Developmental Services is coming, and uh, Learn and Grow with with special needs is coming. It's a it's a special needs group, parenting group. They're coming to offer services and. A additionally, All Star Plumbing, All -Star Plumbing is has. I think they've been at almost every one of our events. Nice. They're very very supportive, and they're they're local in in Hanford. By the way, the swag bag. When I was a kid, our dentist lived on our block. And we'd go to his house, trick or treat, he'd put the toothbrush in there. I'd get so angry. But when I was a parent, <laughs> I loved that when my kids got the toothbrush at, uh, at, at the event. So dentists, other people from the community, if they want to donate to the swag bag, anything they think a kid could use. Bubbles, paints, um, little trinkets, toys, um, educational things, um, we, uh, and, and candy. See? Um, I think different. I'm thinking, I want my kids to have a toothbrush and school supplies, but you think they should have fun things. Well, a little bit of both. A little both is a balance. <laughs> well, toothbrushes can be fun. <laughs> toothbrushes can be fun. Listen, we're about out of time, but I just want to give you a minute. We have uh, the website on the screen, UCP, say it, ucpcc.org? Yes. Okay. And also, the phone number's up there. Anybody can uh, call. And Barbara's, Barbie's uh, email address. Absolutely. Absolutely. She's the one that's that's really running the show on this trunk or treat. Are you from Hanford? Are you stationed over there? I mean, I, I have been in Hanford for about 25 years. Okay, so you're uh, yeah. ensconced in Hanford. Yeah, yes. Anyway, last thoughts. What do you want our viewers to know? We want you to know that UCP of Central California is here for anybody and everybody that needs our services. Yeah. Each time when Roger Slingerman comes on or you guys come on, I'm always surprised at how much more you do than I would ever realize. So I appreciate what you do. And, Thank you. And we want you Thank to come you. back. We want Roger to come back. We want the community to know what great things are going on out there. And we will be back with more Central Valley Talk right after this.